when a thermonuclear device or any nuclear device is detonated, is it possible to exactly determine the impact diameter? Is that diameter dependent on external factors as well? Of course, you can uh, determine the the radius, the imp like you said, the impact diameter. So when you detonate a nuclear weapon, you know what is the blast radius and what is the radius... Uh, in which everybody will die, everything will be flattened, and the radius at which a certain amount of radiation goes out and all that, it can be calculated. It's very simple. Yeah. It's mainly dependent on the yield of the nuclear weapon. The yield is typically measured in, in terms of kilotons of TNT or megatons of TNT. Yeah. Uh, I think the, the largest uh, weapon that India has tested was a 60 kiloton uh, thermonuclear weapon. Yeah. And... Uh, the Americans uh, have a standard 100 kiloton weapon called the W something, and they have tested megaton weapons as well. The Russians have tested the largest weapon ever, which was a 50 megaton weapon, which was called the Tsar Bomba and all that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty straightforward for a nuclear physicist to calculate the, the blast radius and all that. And there are websites that can help you do that, you know. So let's take a look at one of the websites. It's called... Uh, it's called nuclearsecrecy.com slash something. Let's take a look at that. Nuke map. Just give me a second. Nuclearsecrecy.com slash nuke map. Let's put that on the screen. One second. Give me a second. And here we are. Nuclearsecrecy.com. And, and and this comes with all these preset options. You can, uh, you can select any city or you can select nuclear uh, historical locations. And it's, it's a uh, it's pre-selected New York City for some reason. So uh, so I, I hope nobody gets offended. I'm not. <laughs> uh, so let's, what do we see? Okay, just for the sake of taking a look at this. Yeah, let's, let's do it on New York City. Uh, what yield do we want? Let's take a standard bomb, which is the largest Indian weapon, 60 kilotons. Let's take the W76, which is common in the US and UK SLBM arsenal. So we have a 100 kiloton nuclear device, the W76. We are focusing on New York City, which is what the website gave me. Okay, it's not my choice. And um, and we're going to do a airburst instead of surface. Or we could do a surface thing. Let's do an airburst, which is like the bomb will detonate in the air itself, not on the surface, not upon impact. And let's detonate. Boom. So there you go. So the fireball radius is 380 meters. That's the radius. The radiation radius is five is 1.11 kilometers. The moderate blast damage radius is 3.26 kilometers and all that. So it tells you what kind of blast radius it's going to have and all that. It's standard uh, calculations. You could uh, use a North Korean weapon, yeah, and then see what happens. It's a slightly larger one, slightly larger uh, blast impact. Let's go for a one megaton bomb and see what happens. It's a much bigger radius. Uh, did they have Tsar Bomba? <laughs> 50 megaton. Let's see. Boom. Enormous. Yeah. So that's how it is. It's possible to more or less exactly determine the impact diameter. You can also take a look at the radioactive fallout, which will depend on the wind and all that. So here you have, uh, you can see the yellow portion, which is the radioactive fallout, which is dependent on the wind direction. So if the wind is uh, in the direction of the northeast, then it will go all the way to, to Massachusetts and all that from there. And uh, yeah, let's not take a look at casualties, which will depend on various factors and all that. So that's how it is. Yep. So uh, this uh, website is called nuclearsecrecy.com slash nuke map. You can go and take a look at it and play around with the various settings. And yeah, that's how it is. Yeah. So it's definitely possible to determine all these parameters uh, quite precisely, depending on the on the uh, yield of the nuclear weapon and the height at which you detonate it and various other factors.